Yeah, I gotta go see him. Gotta go see him over there now. All right, third island. Felt like we were on the first island for ages. We haven't really been on here for that long, I don't think. I'm locked in, come over, basically. Is that all he said? Just, I'm locked in. So I guess they've ended their strike. Side veil. I'm starving here. It's a shame you don't uh, spend more time in Shawside Vale. And you know what? I was thinking it would have been good if for Liberty City Stories they started you off in Shawside Vale and opened up in the opposite direction. That would have been cool. Found this in case you want to hear it. Thank you, Nicholas, for getting me that. They got me. I'm up Shit Creek without a paddle. That was kind of it. All right. Police department. You need a lawyer's outfit. Follow the shirt blip on the radar to find Mr. Ben's clothes shops. All right. Yeah, I, I kind of, it would have been funny if they, like, it would have been fun, I think, if they started you off in Shoreside Vale first, and then unlocked the islands in the opposite order. I feel like that was a bit of a, a missed trick by Rockstar at the time. Alright, lawyer's outfit, I probably better best not go in with a gun. We'll get a fresh in fairness. And like it would have added to the nostalgia of revisiting, you know, the places from the first game that you ended up back where you sort of started again. Where you started your whole GTA journey in GTA 3. Justice. All right. Going guns blazing sure assertiveness. <laughs> is your lawyer, Mr. Leone? I know who the hell he is, pal. Come on, give me a break here. Go ahead, kid, run along. Say hello to your mother for me, Gabish. All uh, right, you got five minutes. Listen, uh, Lionel. You're looking good. Look at me, a fine member of the community, and suddenly I'm banged up. It really challenges my philanthropic nature. Uh, of course, Mr. Leone, we're doing everything we can to get you out of here and uh, back to helping your community as soon as possible. Of course. I hope we can sue someone for this outrage. Those cunts, the Sindacos, or those cocksuckers, the Ferrellis. Who was it? Who ratted me out? Let's hit them both hard, the way I see it. They both could use a good beating for this outrage. Motherfuckers! It will be my pleasure. Thank you. Tony. You really mean a lot to me. You know that? Listen, you might need some backup. Uh, use the hoods, okay? Whatever you think is best, Mr. Leone. All right. Get out of here, Lionel. They followed your advice in the second game. Oh, really? Does Vice City Stories start on the opposite island? Pick up the hoods, then get the Ferrari's attention. And my Inferno. Oh, no, there it is. 
gonna need a four seat car, aren't I? The hoods. Who are the hoods? This was an unnecessary way to go. Hood Rumpo XL. Ah, oh, weren't they in uh, in GTA 3? But you never really interacted with them. I seem to remember vans from some gang in this area. Yeah, okay. Now we're at they're, they're actually part of the game now. Ah, uh, was the fawn missions from the Further Hoods. I remember now. Yeah, okay. I do remember. We better get out. Oh, having a gun would be helpful. What kind of pea shooters have they got? They sound terrible, they're guns. Do with it in the car, to be honest. I've seen some shit right there. Has a flat tire, but we'll deal with it. all of our gang members. <laughs> Where are the other guys? They're all on the map here. Oh, they're in there. <laughs> I'll take that. We have a. Oh, yeah, we've got given a safe house. Okay. Let's go see what that is. Ferrelli XS. Okay. It's the first time I've driven this. Tire could do with a bit of work, though. Who's a stinger around here? Oh. Oh, I am 
fairness. Sweet. We'll get that back. Got a date with a cheese deluxe. Someone came in, and it that's uh, that's ironic that someone came in the chat earlier and said, "I'm gonna say something now, but if you don't know it, you're not a real GTA fan or something like that." And that was the quote. Now we now we all know. Now we're all real GTA fans. a real fan, I know. Still not a GTA fan. You don't want to be Phil. <laughs> Damn, look at our house. Is there a garage? Oh, is that the garage on the other side? Living well here. Yeah, the tunnel is open. I've got to go inspect that. Proper interior. Nice. Uh, I guess this one. Oops. Cool. Don't really, really remember this place much, to be honest. Yeah, stairs and a view. Gimme, gimme, gimme. It's a four, four boss, isn't it? I really, I remember enjoying this. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme, hey, gimme. Get off, get off. Ah. Nice. Oh, there was one right there. Uh, yeah, the tunnel in GTA 3 is closed off, isn't it? So how does that work, that it's available in the prequel? Can't go that way, which would take you. Is that is that where the uh, observatory is? Caved in, collapsed or something? Okay. Take it while I'm here. That's the mainland route. Yeah, that uh, upstate I saw it say. So that that's how you would get to the. A piece of uh, the rest of the the state, I guess. It's kind of cool that they added this for the prequel. Finished it off. Oops. But yeah, there's an observatory that you could never get to. There it is. I'm guessing you still can't get to it even in Liberty City Stories. The, yeah, the Dodo can get to that in GTA 3, but it's it's just invisible, isn't it? Like, don't you just fall through it? It'd be cool to get close to it, though. And I'm back where I found this car and stole it and doing what I should have done originally and just got this one instead. I do know how to look after cars. I'm an expert at that. The site of the final mission in GTA 3. I've got a 
I really enjoyed that mission. The whole, you know, trying to figure it out and and getting better each run and, you know, progression. I really enjoyed it. I think it's been my favourite part of all of the playthroughs so far. None of this is where I want it to go. Difficult to work your way around Shawsideville. Lots of places where, like, you have to go to a very specific road to connect to the next bit. And... If I remember correctly, they're in Houston, jump to cut across the river. Oh, really? Maybe this is why they didn't uh, start the player in Shawside Vale for the BC stories, because it was just too much of a pain to navigate around. Hey, Sal, it's me, Tony. Tony, it's good to hear your voice, kid. These chumps won't let me see nobody. Listen, I got plenty of business to take care of. Take Paulie Sindaco. His family's finished this town, but he thinks he can just run away like he's got no dues to pay. I'm in jail because of that bastard. Make that son of a bitch pay. Bring down powerhouse. All right. Damn, we're hearing that all the time now. Mm, yeah, I'm guessing I can't just hop down. This is probably the quickest way to get there, right? If I go around here and then down. Where are we going? Ah, oh, I see where we're going. Ah, oh, bollocks. We'll come on completely the wrong side of the river. Okay, where's those stud jumps to get across the river? <laughs> Is it that one? Is it that thing? I'm going to do it. I'm going to try it. Beautiful. Perfect, see? Even the game appreciates it. We're exactly where I needed to be. Really? Ladies and gentlemen, there we go. <laughs> Pauli Sindaco has left the building. Was that kissing your ass good enough for you, Pauli?
<laughs> All right, let's go save. Now I've got to find my way to my save point. Yeah, Shoreside Vale is a bit of a nightmare to get around. house is on the other side of this. Is there no way for me to get there easily? Wait, can I jump down here? <laughs> My old car's still there. Sweet. Should probably buy more RPG rounds. I'm surprised I managed to keep that car, to be honest. Let's do that one. There we go. Okay. Now we're good. See if I can hop over again. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Tony, it's Donald. No, no, wait, don't hang up. I've got a very exciting proposition for you. Please come by my current um residence and I'll fill you in. Tony, please, Tony, have a heart. I I'm calling you from my last time. <laughs> Alright, I guess we'll continue with the Salvatore missions. We can go see Donald later. The new cars they've added for Liberty City Stories are some really nice ones. Shogun Showdown. Alright. Sal, how's it going? Oh, fucking Ben there. Just great. Number one, the new mayor is fixing it so I don't get bailed. Number two, we're stuck fighting the goddamn triads and Diablos. Number three, I hear that the fucking Yakuza are gonna make a play to take over the city. Other than that, everything is just peachy. After all these years of mob control, we've finally flushed it all down the crapper. Boss, I can take care of everything. The Yakuza have got a load of weapons in Espatria. Nothing can stop them now. We'll see about that. Alright, Yakuza compound. Where am I going? I'm learning it's good to check the map when you're in Staunton. Is it Staunton? No, Shoreside Vale. Just because so many roads that lead nowhere. And you've got to take a long unwinding route to get to where you need to go. It's always good to check the map first. I'm doing it. Come on! Come on! 
Landed it. Like a glove. Ah, oh, there's Yakuza stingers all over the place. That's a cool touch. As if they're taking over the city. As an experienced BC story speedrunner, I thought you had the map memorized. <laughs> Where did you hear that? Inside the compound. I mean, I'm guessing I can't. Uh... Hmm. What if I get a Yakuza Stinger? I was gonna say I can't disguise myself as a Yakuza, but I can if they don't see my face. There were Yakuza Stingers all over the place, like, two minutes ago. I guess I'll go to the spawn location. The old GTA 3 classic. I'd love a version of, like, a modern Stinger. Well, the GTA 3 era Stinger in GTA Online that you could mod up to look like this. That'd be really cool. Oh my Holy god, they've got shit, a tank. I don't fucking believe it. Destroy the tank? Can I not just take it? Normal weapons won't wreck this heavy piece of hardware. Yeah, I mean, I'm definitely going to have some fun with it. <laughs> Let's get some speed. Classic cannon boost. <laughs> you should add this to random all. The tank that goes faster when you shoot backwards. If you're behind it, you've just got to dodge. Oh, it left me with three stars. Well, that's nice. They'll call me Bullseye for nothing. A bomb must have been shocked to see a tank enter his workshop. <laughs> I know, right? Can you just put a bomb in this for me? What? <laughs> Damn, nice colour. Yeah, too bad you can't paint spray yourself, I know. 
just wanted to hop in there, walk in. Spray tan time. Where does Donald... Okay, he's there. The fact he actually has the firepower to blow up a tank should be concerning. Yeah, I mean, maybe that's why he ended up in the position that he was in when we met him in GTA 3. <laughs> They should bring that uh, mechanic back for GTA 6. Shoot backwards with a tank and go faster. That's classic. <laughs> yeah, you've definitely seen that, didn't mate? I was talking about the very start of the game. <laughs> Still feels weird to be riding around Liberty City on bikes. a big penthouse suite, Donald. <laughs> I know what you're thinking, Tony. How the mighty have fallen. Why is it? Why, why would you do that? My man. Okay. Oh, don't be all touchy. I know I said some nasty things about this being her fault and all, but hubris is a nasty, nasty bedfellow. Almost as nasty as termites. And trust me, I've tried both recently. Wait. You and me are on our way back. I never went away. We're in this together, amigo. No, we're not. Please. Please? Please? Forget about it, buddy. It's all your fault? Pathetic. Ten percent. Ten percent of what? This? Oh, you're too kind. Not of this. Of something really big. Come. I'll tell you about it on the drive. I hope you have your car. Mine's in the, uh, uh, shop. Donald has definitely fallen. Head for the airport, Tony. We don't have a minute to lose. Chris, thank you so much for the five gift subs. Oh, yes. This is one of my better plans, for sure. I never knew I had it in me. Even Avery would be proud. Oh, Avery. Tony, my ex-mentor, Avery Carrington, is flying into town today. It's come to my attention that he's working for the Panlantic Corporation. They'll do anything to get prime real estate. So kind of we have to get hold of his plans to acquire land. Come on, Tony, get after him. I'll kill Avery Carrington and get his plans. No way! Be careful, the plans will be lost if Avery's car is destroyed while he's in it. Oh, 
Okay, this is gonna be challenging. But I like Avery from Vice City. Hmm. Panlantic must have employed the cartel to protect Avery. How do I stop him without? There he is! Kill him, Tony. I need those plans. Oh, capital Tony! Quite literally. Now let's get this back to the safety of my, um, place of a boat. Um, Avery? I was gonna say it when we saw him. Oh, I like it when they bring back characters from other games and, and mix them in and stuff. But then we go bloody kill him. Oh, those cartels are not doing very good. So that's how Avery character, that's what in, that, that's how that ends up. That's how he ends up. I've gone the wrong way again. And again. This is gonna make me a fortune. He died in a very painful way. Can't tell me. Uh, Chris with the gifts of Zijin SS, Bamboos, Mr. Mech, and Glitch, and Kamigatu. Thank you so much. Uh, Chris for the gift subs. I'm just gonna go save because I feel like it's probably a good idea at this stage in the game. No, I was right there, but... Oh. Oh. Jesus! That was a big accident. The bike's still going. Oh. Is this Mr. Cipriani? Who's this? How'd you get my number? If one puts their mind into it, one can achieve much. I shouldn't have to tell you that, Mr. Cipriani. I need your help in a delicate matter. For this help, you'll be richly rewarded. I will explain when you arrive at my apartment in Torrington. Tough you're an addict, man. A lot of touch me for okay. money. Okay. Intriguing. Oops. I wonder what Tommy Vassetti's doing now. We just killed Avery. I guess they went close enough for him to come all the way to Liberty City. Screaming at Mr. Whoopi. Oh, there it is. I can. I shouldn't. I shouldn't. I shouldn't be using bikes. I mean, I'm gonna keep using it, but I shouldn't. Thank you for that clip, we'll use it in the montage. God damn it. Don't tell me these things. Now I'm conscious of it all.
prepare for content. Uh, you crash whatever you drive. That's true, but at least when I'm in a car, I don't fall off and injure myself. Tony, at last, a reporter witnessed us killing Avery. He has photos. Oh, God, I'm finished. Calm down, will you? Where is this reporter? Oh, Tony, you're wonderful. Apparently, he's working on an undercover job at the church on Staten Island. Get the photos and bury him. It's weird when some of the cutscenes are like that. It's in previous cutscenes where that's happened. It's only ever been like for a few seconds. That, that one was definitely more than a few seconds. We basically didn't see any of that cutscene. Oh, the cheetah, finally! I haven't driven one on the whole playthrough. Don't no, no pull me, my heart hurts! I've barely driven the Infernus as well. Oh, damn it. <laughs> I was trying to stay on there all the way around, but it was risky. Got some photos of me. Where are they? I don't know what you're talking about. Where are the goddamn photos? Don't hurt me. Where are they? Please, no. Come on, you little pussy. Give them up. Okay, okay. I'll get you the photos. I stashed the film in my locker. That, uh, that didn't require much. To the locker. How many how much money do we have on this being a complete trap? It's been a very easy mission so far. Here they are, take them. I didn't get them processed yet. Oh. Well, Alright then. You piece of shit. I guess he took a photo of us and then left. <laughs> we didn't get to see it because of the wall moment, but... Highest speed chase in the game. Still got his cigarette in his mouth. That's impressive. I can't believe I just saw that. Please get one to look at the move. I'm late for a meeting. This car was my pride and joy. Smoking kills. If Bruffy wrecks this much, imagine parting over a pigeon from BMNG. Is that a difficult car? I think I tried BMNG like 
years and years ago. I don't think I played it very much. Is that like a notoriously difficult vehicle to drive or something? Wall boost! Three wheels, it's handful to drive, okay. I vaguely remember something like that. BeamNG has improved so much it's now like a different game. Huh. Yeah, it must have been like 2015 or something when I last tried it. 16? A long time ago. I'm back! Back from the dead, Tony, <laughs> risen in you like a phoenix from the ashes. Yay, like wall. Lazarus. Yes. Lazarus love! Ah, I'm gonna be rich again! Panlantic are gonna pay me a fortune to see the deal through. We did it, Tony! Whatever. It's time for a little beautiful wall with a very exclusive guest list. Come on. <laughs> We're gonna need some transportation, Tony. We don't have much time. Screw it. We'll take it. Tony, I've been dying for this party. Just like my guests. Find a corpse. Oh, okay. He's so weird. Uh... <sighs> They're both a nightmare to get to. I'm gonna go to this one. Ah, oh, he's a cannibal, isn't he? I remember. Find a corpse, why not make one? Yeah, I know, right? Get the hell out of the way. It's not as if I'm bothered about killing people in this game as my character. I could just kill some random guy. my wonderful party I wouldn't invite just anyone to my little bash you know invitations are to die for <laughs> would it have been someone different if we'd gone to the other pickup point Shot him, won't that just taste like bullets? I don't think it would make a good meal. Maybe you just gotta take what you can get. Sure to get Avery's gamey old remains here before security discovers us. His autopsy is scheduled any time now. Ah, uh, we gotta do both. It's Avery. We need to go. Okay. I was curious if it was someone different at the other location. Fine. It's 
Something I realized as we were driving back towards um, Staunton Island over the bridge. Uh, is that, like, you don't really get a sense of verticality in the GTA 3 and, and Liberty City Stories games because you don't really fly anywhere or anything. Like, when we were on the bridge... Is this my old bike? Kind of looks like it. I don't know why I left it here, but... Um, like, when we were going across the bridge, I saw the skyscrapers. Why do I suddenly have two stars now? Cool here, man. You cheat. Oh, I swapped for the cheater. I remember. Isn't the pain spray around here? It doesn't matter. I'm going to get two stars as soon as I pick it up anyway. Oh, no, three stars. Hold it right there. Spike strips, excellent. Will the paint spray work with this? I hope so. Ah, oh, bollocks. Okay, this is going to be a challenging end to this mission. Oh, oh well, that helps. This this very much is an ambulance drift spec. <laughs> Thank you, Mark Cowbell, for the donation, by the way. I will catch up with it shortly. Considering I've got... I've only got one working wheel. I think there's only one tire that's actually functional. Oh god, this ambulance is not looking good. Close. Oh no! Ah! I just did the cooking for them. Alright, well, I guess I gotta do that again. At least I didn't get killed or busted and lose all my weapons, so I can just go straight back into it. More cowboy with a 269. He he, tis 418 and all is well. I'm about to bark on an epic journey. Back from 
Travel from the field of Ing to the land of Orc as there is a damsel in distress with the CNC plasma cutter that won't go tally. Oh. oh, I've still got two stars. Bollocks. Thank you very much, Mark Albo, for the 269. Tony, I've been dying for this party. Just like my guests. He gets such a huge boost from. Eh? Alright, let's go get Avery first. It's in a completely different location. Do they move where it is to make it closer to you for the second one? Uh, Thick Ramen with the five dollar donation as well. At work right now. Wish I could stay for the whole stream. Well, yeah, work is probably more important. <laughs> um, thank you very much, Thick Ramen, for the five dollars. Oh, what a scumbag! Oh, it's moving. Last time it had arrived at the airport, now it's... Ah, I see. Oh, so really I should have... No, well, I've come this way now. I, should, I mean, it makes so much more sense to go for the other one first. I can stay for my breakfast at least. Well, yeah. At least you get to be here for some of it, huh? Yeah? I'll be asked with the 25 months. Two early streams in a row? What is this? Yeah. I am a little early. It is somewhat unusual, I guess. since we've last met. You used to feed me such pearls of wisdom. And soon I shall dine again. My God, he's wearing a wig! <laughs> yeah, I don't know how to turn the sirens off with my button configuration. <laughs> I've tried the usuals, but at least we've got the siren emote now. And they're getting out of the way for me, at least. Funnily enough, no cops when you do it this way. Maybe that's the duality of the mission. You can do it the longer way, and you get less time with cops. Can I just, like, Hop over here. Oh, I can as well. Oh, I should have done that the first time. Okay, we're alright. We're alright. <laughs> Almost choked it, I know. Sure to get Ned Burner's corpse here before security discovers us. They'll be interring him any time now. All right, is he going to be in a different location, or is he? No, same. I guess you can do it the slow way and have less cops. Anyway, I saw it. Thank you very much, RBS, for the twenty-five months. I'm at work, Bluetooth earbuds for the win. 
How do you guys watch me? Those of you who go to work, who, who are able to, like, it's a fairly re relatively common thing that people will either say they're at work or something. What kind of jobs do you do where you can watch me? Maybe office jobs and you've got me on a separate part of the screen or something? I, I don't know. Come on, I've got houses to sell here. A thing called working at home. <laughs> Just multitasking. Burning overtime. <laughs> Get going, Apple. When I'm at work, I just keep the stream in another browser tab. Yeah, I guess I'm I'm stuck in the dark age, just thinking that when people say they're at work, they're actually at a place of work. A lot of it is at home these days, isn't it? I'm gonna make a fortune selling quick fix, yo. I should go back to serving it. Come on, oh, we'll crap. that maniac! I work at a solar security system builder. Stream on my phone and leave it on my desk while I listen multitask for the win. Yeah, multitasking seems to be the way, I guess. How do you stream while at work, Profi? It is difficult. It is difficult. Striking that balance, you know. You want to make sure you're doing your work, but you also want to, you know, do a stream. We don't work in a factory doing menial production line work, Profi. I know that was all there when you grew up in 1865, but things have changed. Oh, shut up. I'll be honest, I get considerably less work done when you're streaming. See, that's what I mean. That's what I assumed would be the case. <laughs> Especially if something interesting is happening. Oh my god, he's so disgusting. Sexy and I were talking about this earlier, how when we went to like COVID lockdown, it just didn't change anything for us at all, apart from going shopping. <laughs> Our life was exactly the same. <laughs> has different situations don't they? <laughs> Those were the days. I don't think they were. I can't believe I've done this. <laughs> I miss COVID. We're doing it. This was a mistake. I should have just followed the road. This is giving me G Fred flashbacks. I'm getting PTSD. Wait, where do I need to be? Where's the tea at? Oh, it's in Staunton. Oh, I should go there then. Was it also the same during the Spanish flu in the 1800s? I don't know what you're asking me for. Some of us have places to be.
It was a difficult time for 19th century streamers. <laughs> COVID must have meant more money from people watching YouTube and Twitch. It, to be fair, 2020 was my, still to this day, was my best year for, from an income perspective. Never been as good as 2020 again. <laughs> I mean, it makes sense. People had, you know, more time to watch stuff. I did more streams for to a small extent to try and keep people entertained while they didn't have anything to do and they were locked up in their houses. People had no money to spend on anything because you couldn't go out and buy stuff or you couldn't go on holidays. Yeah, it made sense. At least you've got a McLaren now. <laughs> I wish. It's not going to be that good again. <laughs> Could have started spreading COVID to make everyone stay indoors. <laughs> 